people gathered to celebrate the publication of Herbert H. Lehman, a political biography. When I first came to Lehman a long, long time ago in 1990, one of the things I did was walk around campus and I asked people, do you know who Herbert Lehman was? And students, students, Lehman students would look at me and say, oh, I know there's a Lehman driving school or there's a Lehman High School in the Bronx, but they had no clue of who Herbert Lehman was. Lehman College, a senior college of the City University of New York, was named after Herbert H. Lehman, a former U.S. Senator of New York. What a lot of people don't know is that Lehman was not only a politician, but also an advocate for those who face economic, racial, and social oppression. It speaks volumes to the quality of the scholarship that is produced by Lehman uh, College faculty. Um, the fact that it took him uh, approximately 10 years to get it right, to be able to tell the story of our namesake in a way that would uh, showcase uh, his values and his commitment and contributions to the state he so much loved. Professor Dwayne Tenenbaum, a history professor at the college, took upon the task to do extensive research on Herbert H. Lehman. His research and drive developed into a book discussing Lehman's life and legacy. This biography differs from the 1963 book. It includes influences from the impactful events that followed the original book as well as sources from the individuals who knew Lehman at the time. The other biography was written in 1963 and it relied almost exclusively on Herbert Lehman's papers. And also with the passage of time, in 1963 there wasn't a Civil Rights Act yet, there wasn't an Immigration Reform Act yet. Now looking back we can see where Lehman helped blaze the trail for some of these reforms that were passed shortly after his death. Lehman College's namesake has been a mystery to many. However, this publication of Herbert H. Lehman's biography shines light on the life and legacy of the man behind the college's name. This is Dahlia Saavedra reporting for BronxNet.